Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Katie. So today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, is a little bit different than I feel like the vlogs that I typically do. But after my last q and A, I I feel like a lot of you guys were really resonating with kind of the way I was feeling and with the winter right around the corner. I know a lot of people get like seasonal affective disorder and tend to get like a little bit more like down and just like not feeling the best during like the colder, darker months. So I thought that this would be a good video to make. I'm gonna put on my Laneige Vanilla Lip Sleeping Mask while we're talking because my lips are super dry. But I'm someone who has dealt with like mental health stuff my whole life. And I feel like with that, like I've gone through like different periods of like feeling better or like feeling a little bit worse just feeling like I'm stuck in a rut and I have this whole like formula that I've made for myself that is to like get me out of a rut or to really help me like feel better and basically to like hack my happy chemicals in my brain so I thought I would vlog a whole little like mental health day just taking an entire day to really focus on making myself feel better helping my mental health helping like my energy and everything like that so that's what we're going to be doing today um, these are things that work for me you might need to like tailor them to be different to fit your life and that's totally fine but these things help me so much so I thought I would share them with you guys the first thing that I make myself do whenever I wake up and I'm just like not really like feeling my best is I make myself either like shower or wash my face because I feel like typically whenever I'm just like not feeling good I feel like I have a tendency to just want to like go from the bed to make my coffee and then just like go sit down on the couch and then I sit on the couch for hours and I like don't wash my face or do my skincare or shower and I just feel like gross and I feel like skincare is just one of those little things that even if it's literally just washing your face and putting moisturizer on just it like helps me to feel better and feel like I accomplished something and that makes me feel good about myself. So I'm gonna wash my face. I did shower last night so I don't need a shower this morning, but I'm gonna wash my face and do some skincare. we're gonna keep it so incredibly simple I'm just gonna put on some sunscreen um, cuz I'm not really gonna like wear any makeup or anything so that way I'm still protecting my face I feel like whenever I'm just like not having good days I really just do the bare minimum also if you guys notice this little like brown spot I dropped foundation on it the other day and it didn't wash out so it totally stained it so feel free to ignore that now that I feel a little bit more like fresh and clean I'm gonna go ahead to the kitchen and we're gonna make some breakfast and take our supplements Okay, so we take our supplements very seriously around here. I know I've shown you guys a few times some of these. I haven't shown you guys all of them. I do have a few new ones that I recently incorporated. These are all things that really do help me to feel better. And I feel like when it comes to like feeling your best, taking vitamins and supplements are so important. So the first two I take every single morning are my ritual ones. You guys know I love ritual. I've been taking these for years now and they're hands down my favorite. Um, so I take the ritual essential for women multivitamin 18 plus. I really like this one because this is one of the only multivitamins that I found that actually has iron in it and if you're not getting enough iron it can just make you feel really like fatigued and tired and everything like that so I love that these multivitamins actually have iron in them and then I also take the ritual symbiotic plus it's a prebiotic probiotic and a postbiotic and having a healthy gut is so important because it can really impact your entire body and if you have bad gut health it can also really impact your mental health as well so make sure you're taking a probiotic every day thing I take is actually like a little herbal blend that I got from my naturopath so I don't know what in here specifically but it's this little like liquid herbal blend and it does not taste good i won't lie but this one's made to help fatigue mood focus and stress so i take two droppers of this every single morning and then the next one that i'm going to take i actually picked this up last night so i haven't tried it yet um, but it is 5 htp and from what i have read about it and like heard about it it's essentially like a very like natural antidepressant um, you can't take this if you're on any type of like antidepressants or ssris i think it's because of like serotonin syndrome um, so, you know, I'm not a doctor, like do your own research on this, talk to your doctor about it before you try it, but I'm not on anything at all. So I really wanted to try it because I've heard just so many amazing things about it, but it says it's supposed to help promote a calm, relaxed mood and helps maintain a positive outlook. It's supposed to help reduce occasional anxiety, enables the production of serotonin. So I'm very excited to try this. I feel like I don't want to take something every single day and I don't really want to take like a prescription drug just because there's so many side effects. Um, and I prefer to like try to go the natural route if possible. And then the last one that I'm going to take, I know 
know this seems like so many um but this is the js health hair and energy vitamins it mainly has iodine and zinc along with a few other herbs in there i definitely noticed a huge difference in like my energy levels and how i feel and also like hair growth whenever i do take these so those are all the supplements that i'm going to be taking i need to get some water because i like to mix my little like herbal blend in with my water because i feel like it makes it taste a little bit better if you are experiencing kind of just feeling like very like burnt out, low energy, lethargic, depressed, anxious, just make sure that you're taking your vitamins. Maybe go get your blood work done. I recently got some blood work done to kind of like look at my thyroid and everything like that. So I would definitely make sure to recommend that you're all good on the health front because I feel like that can play such a big role in your mental health, like I said earlier. Okay, and then last but not least, my disgusting tasting herbal blend. Ugh. And it's mixed with alcohol too. I guess it's to like carry the herbs or like whatever it is or to like help blend them. It tastes like grass clippings mixed with straight whiskey. Like it does not <laughs> taste good. So I have to dilute it otherwise like I can't really drink it that well. Um, it's not awful. It just, it burns. It just feels like you're taking like a shot and I'm not someone who likes taking shots or like drinking alcohol straight. Here's to boosting my mood, fighting fatigue and stress. Oh gosh. I'm gonna make avocado toast today because it's basic, it's simple, it's easy, it doesn't take like a lot of effort to prepare. It's one of my favorite breakfasts, so I'm just gonna make that and keep it like super easy and simple and like very low effort. Okay, after I finish breakfast, the next step is to fill up my huge 64 ounce water bottle. A lot of the times when I'm just like not feeling my best, I typically tend to forget to drink water and not drinking water can cause like a lot of fatigue and like a low mood as well. So I always try to remember to fill up my water bottle and then actually drink the water because I know I'm gonna feel a lot better when I do. Got my water for the day. I really like this one because it holds all the water that I need for the entire day so I don't have to worry about like filling it back up or remembering how many glasses I had. I can just fill this whole thing up and then I'm good to go. So I really love this. I'll have it linked down below. I'll have like everything I show in this video linked down below for you guys if you want to check anything out. But on to the next part of our mental health day. The next thing I'm going to do is do a really quick little like pick up and clean. Typically when I'm not having a good day, I don't want to clean the whole house. That's way too much energy and I just don't feel like it. But on the other side of that, like having a bunch of clutter just really stresses me out and it just makes me feel like very anxious and like dirty and I just don't like it so I like to at least spend like five to ten minutes just doing like a really light pickup just like in the main areas where I'm mostly at during the day just because I know that even though I like I don't want to do it I know that's going to make me feel so much better so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly After everything's been picked up i'm going to wipe down my counters and i'm going to use this branch basics all-purpose cleaner i recently started using their stuff for all of my cleaners my laundry dishwasher and i'm so obsessed with them it works so so well and i've really been trying to incorporate like more like non-toxic products in my household so if you guys are looking for a good like non-toxic cleaner definitely check them out by far my favorite Okay, the next step of our mental health self-care day is going to be getting outside and getting some sunshine. It's been pretty rainy for the last several days and today it's actually pretty sunny outside. So I thought it would be a good day to get outside and get some vitamin D. Sunshine always helps you feel better and it's really nice just to get some like fresh air and move your body as well. So I think I'm going to go for a little fall walk. I also really need to change out of this robe because this like stain on here is really bothering me and I'm sure it's bothering you guys throughout this whole video. So I need to change and put on some clothes we're just gonna go with comfy clothes nothing like too extreme we're staying comfy all day today but i'm gonna go ahead and get changed and then we're gonna go for a nice little walk and soak up some sunshine do you want to go get some sunshine and go see all the pretty fall leaves and go for a nice little walk Get in there. 
did you have so much fun, Bobby? Yes, look at you. You're so heckin' cute. Look at that tongue. Okay, we just finished our walk. It's like the perfect sunny day. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's like the perfect medium. I also brought my water with me so I can drink that because I haven't been like the best at drinking it today. But it was such a good walk and knocked out like three of the things on, like I have this whole list. I don't know if I mentioned this beginning, but I have this whole list like written down of specific things that like make me feel better. And this knocked out three of them. So one of them is like get outside and get sunshine for at least like 10 to 15 minutes. And then the other one is do something active like it can just be a light walk it can be i don't know if you want to do like pilates at home walking on a treadmill or do like a full workout if you want to but just do something to like get your body active and moving and give you those endorphins because they do make you feel better so we did both of those and then my other one on days where like i'm just not feeling good or i just feel like i'm kind of like in a mental rut is to get out of my house at least once i don't care what i do i can go get starbucks i can go to target i just make myself get out of the house at least once because i know getting out of the house is going to help me feel so much better and like not cooped up even though like I don't really want to get out of the house. I just know it'll make me feel better. So that's one of the things on my list. So we knocked out all three, but I'm going to go ahead. Try to. I need to get something for lunch. What do I want to do for lunch? I probably need to eat something that's like actually nutritious. I really just want like vegan mac and cheese really bad. But I feel like I need something that has like vegetables in it. So I don't know. We'll see what we end up doing. But I'm going to go ahead and head home. And then I'll check underneath you guys with whatever I do next. just got home i stopped by and got some kava i decided i should probably have something a little bit more like healthy and like put actual nutrients in my body instead of just mac and cheese i just got my normal lentil avocado bowl i love this one because it has like avocado in it it has a bunch of different veggies it has falafel in it it has what else is in here sweet potato cauliflower anyways but it's super yummy and filling and has some good fats and veggies protein all of the healthy things that are really good for my body so i'm gonna go ahead and eat my kava sit down and relax for a little bit okay the next part of my mental health day is therapy and i've actually been using better help i really like it this is not sponsored i pay for it with my own money but it's genuinely so great for so many different reasons it's a lot more affordable than traditional therapy and i really like it because it's online so you can either do like a video call therapy you can do a phone call therapy you can do a like chat message therapy so there's so many different ways because i feel like some people have like I personally am someone that has like zoom anxiety I just don't like zoom calls so I like to just do mine over the phone so that I can just talk to them and I can like walk around while I'm talking and it's just so much easier and you can also like message your therapist at any time like in between sessions just to talk about whatever you need to it's such a great platform and again I really love that it's so much more affordable than like in-person therapy so I'm going to have my little therapy session obviously not going to vlog it but I wanted to mention that to you guys in case anyone was looking into therapy and kind of wanted some like different options than like going in person because this one is so easy and convenient and so great so i'll have this link below if you guys do want to check it out but i'll check in with you guys after my therapy session okay it's a little bit later and i'm actually in my guest bathroom right now because i'm going to take a little bath i've been taking nightly baths lately and it's been the most relaxing calming thing ever and i feel like it really helps to like lower my stress and just help me feel like nice and calm and relaxed before i go to bed while i'm in the bath i'm going to do my best to like stay off my phone and stay off social media just because i feel like that doesn't really like help me recharge and rest so i brought a book to read instead this is the book it's 101 essays that will change the way you think and i honestly love this book so so much they're like short little essays and i feel like they just have like so much like practical advice in here i feel like it's just like a really great book to help change your mindset so i'm going to read this one i'm also going to light this candle this is one of my absolute favorite candles it's sicilian lemon and basil and it's so incredibly refreshing i'm not going to put it by the bath because someone recently told me that i guess like candle wax fire and water it is extremely flammable and it can cause like a fire bomb so i'm not going to put it next to my bath but i am going to light it over here on the counter so i can get all the nice cozy vibes and it smells so good <laughs> bath i actually just use this body wash by necessary this is their eucalyptus one and it smells so so good i normally just use their unscented one for a body wash but this is the first time that i'm smelling this one and it smells so amazing my entire bathroom smells like a spa right now so if you guys are looking for a good bubble bath highly recommend this one it smells so amazing just got 
got out of the bath. I took a nice like two hour long bath. It was amazing. I also took a shower after the bath to so, like wash my face and everything. I hate going to bed without showering. Like I just can't do it. Even if I took a bath, I still just don't feel clean. So I already washed my face. I'm gonna put on a little pimple patch because I have this huge pimple coming in. If you guys don't use pimple patches yet, you need to try them. They work wonders. These are the ones that I use and they're like pretty invisible. They make like daytime invisible ones too, but I just wear these overnight. And then I'm just going to moisturize, keep it super, super simple. I'm using my Clarence Double Eye Serum. If you guys do wanna see like my full nighttime skincare routine, I did actually just post a reel of it. And I think it's on TikTok too. Um, of my like whole routine what i use for like makeup remover and everything like that so obviously this is not my full version because this is just a very chill day and we're doing very minimal effort today um but if you guys are interested in seeing like my full skincare routine because i've changed a few things in there you guys can check that out on like tiktok or instagram that's everything that i'm going to do for like skincare i already brushed my teeth and everything like that so i'm going to go ahead and go get in bed and then we're going to finish the rest of our self-care at night in there it's 11 o'clock on the dot and i've really been trying to make it a point to like at least be in bed by midnight so i'm not going to bed super late and then like waking up late just because i feel like that just starts the day off bad if i sleep in i just feel so much like better and just like overall more like happy i guess if i wake up earlier before i do anything else i'm going to take my sleep gummies by equilibria these ones are my absolute favorite they're cherry flavored gummies and they taste so so good i take these every night before i go to sleep and they genuinely help me just get the best sleep of my life and i feel so good in the morning when i wake up when i take these they take about like 15 to 30 minutes to kick in so i like to take them as soon as i get in bed like before i even try to fall asleep and everything okay the next thing that i like to do if i'm like not feeling my best or just like not feeling motivated is i like to do two things i like to do my five minute gratitude journal you fill it in like morning and night so i really like that and then i also got these cute little journals for from Amazon so if I'm not having a great day I like to journal because I feel like that's like a great like way to like vent or like an outlet to kind of like write everything out self-reflect that whole thing so before I go to bed I'm gonna do these two things so that's the last thing that i'm going to do before i go to bed it's only 11 20 so i'm so proud of myself for actually going to bed at a good time tonight but i hope this video was helpful hopefully it gave you some ideas on things you guys can do to kind of help yourself get out of a rut or just do things that make you feel good so so if you guys did like this video definitely let me know in the comments let me know if you have any other videos you guys want to see and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys